Hi, this is the Jim Roberts fly fishing report update for the third week in May. Beautiful conditions. Yeah, the week was a lot to recap, I guess. Uh, I work on the beach and, uh, you know, I've seen tar tarpon in the inlet last week when I was off. I fished in the middle of the week. So, um, just walking around, I, I tell people, I see people who fish, I say, fish on paddle boards trying to catch tarpon. They call it the, the sleigh ride if they hook up, you know. I thought about that myself, I'm trying to hook a big one from a belly boat, but uh, I've lowered my expectations a lot. Right, right now, our Jim Roberts fly fishing will be about trying to hunt big snook on the fly. It's not easy. I, I work, only work from on foot. Uh, I am a pretty, pretty uh, knowledgeable fisherman. I know where to look, but uh, how risky do you want to be? How hard do you want to work for those fish? So, yeah, I've seen a lot of videos of people gone very far places and caught a few fish until they catch the big one. So my life seems to be that unraveling of fishing lots of places and hopefully catching the big one, which I've already been blessed many times. And what I wonder is all those ones that broke my line, how big they were. I fish an eight weight fly rod. I like the fact that it throws a decent sized fly and I consider it streamer fishing. In other words, I blind cast fly fish for everything. Now tomorrow, I'm gonna give you an updated fishing report. Uh, if you watch my videos, uh, going with the big whiting bite, it's like um, the beach is really perfectly calm. I'm not seeing any snook. I'm seeing not seeing tarpon until 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock so uh, it's still things haven't started to blossom yet as far as I'm concerned I see a lot of bait so I'm gonna start next week the tides are all the same one giant incoming tide all week long gets a little slower during the week but it's a slow one or two tide day whatever you want to call it so the and then right in the middle of the morning is the strongest tide so i like to fish mornings for fly so i'm going to, going to try a number of spots uh with the same tide every day practically because it's not going to alter very much weather conditions aren't going to alter so that pretty will pretty much tune you in to what the fishing's doing especially for what you're trying to achieve whether it's working or not uh, these slow tides you have to deal with uh, either maximum flow at a certain time of day, day which is uh, good good or uh, maybe even nighttime to sneak up on them. Uh, the water's really, really clear. So tomorrow, Monday, I fish Monday through Friday. If you want to check in with me, what's biting? Uh, that's what this channel's all about: is wade fishing in Sarasota with a fly rod, generally. But I'm going to start out with the whiting bite on Monday morning because I get off work. And I like to catch a bunch of fish. And the last trip out. I caught 10 whiting in 10 minutes, so um, we'll see if they're getting any bigger or what's going on out there. It's a beautiful time in the morning if anybody wants to meet me. It's right at South Lido when they open the park and I go straight out to the point.
to the right of the point actually they built some jetties so uh, the bite is pretty incredible and then I get a chance to maybe walk with the fly rod down to South Lido and be the first one to see early morning I said the tide the tide's gonna be peak on the two tide day and see if any snooker laid up waiting for a, uh, a bait so that's my plan for Monday and Tuesday's wade will probably be up to Piney Point so I want you all to stay tuned if that's a good bite we'll be starting to develop the early morning snook, snook bite that's, we're on the hunt for the big snook so stay tuned and uh, we'll keep you informed bye for now